Hey everyone, Red here and I have another fun build for you to try on your games and today is the Infinite Hex Plague build. So let's go ahead and break it down. First we're bringing in Hex Plaything, whenever we hook a survivor, Hex Plaything will activate on a dull totem and as long as it's in the trial, that survivor will become oblivious. Second we have Hex Thrill of the Hunt which is going to increase the time it takes for a survivor to pop a totem. Third, you can't have play thing without Hex Pentimento. This will allow us to see the aura of destroyed totems and to rekindle them as a Hex Pentimento. For every Pentimento in the game, it will have an increased effect and the effects are listed right here. Last but not least, we have Hex Face the Darkness. Injuring a survivor by any means will light a dull totem. While the Hex is active, all other survivors outside of your terror radius will scream every 25 seconds, revealing their positions and auras for 2 seconds. An additional note is that whenever a survivor screams, it interrupts any action they're doing, whether it be cleansing a totem or cleansing themselves from Plague's file. When the survivor you originally hit enters the dying state or becomes healthy, this Hexome will become a dull totem again and the perk will deactivate. As far as add-ons, I kept it pretty simple today with the Emetic Potion, which will increase the effectiveness of our Vile Purge by 30%, and Potent Tenture, which will decrease the cooldown of Vile Purge and Corrupt Purge by 0.4 seconds. Overall, you can go a lot harder with add-ons if you want to throw them in there. This is a mid-game build and is a lot of fun. Definitely make sure to like and subscribe button if you haven't already, and leave a build that you want me to see on the channel down below. Alright, let's go ahead and... Get to the gameplay. Sometimes Red needs to have a moment. Throw up on that as well while we're here. Got it. As long as you see the contagious points, you're fine. It could be there. I'm hoping not, though. Oh, they got Hill into Shack. The real bummer. They actually did start over there. I'll be surprised. Or they start in corner, which means that gen is done. Yeah. What tier is playing? Uh, probably eight tier. Very good killer. We walk around. Hard to say. That's the downside with Corrupt. Doesn't really bring survivors in too much. There we go. Cool. Face the darkness now up. I'll break the pout in a second. She kind of played herself, so might as well. Okay, my bad. What gen? It was that gen. Interesting. Well, that's not too bad. We lose a lot of early game pressure, but we can kind of bring that pressure back, I think. Hopefully. Kind of the downside when you don't bring corrupt. Come on. Aww. We just get her to drop it real quick and that'll spread the infection. Thank you. She'll get inflicted later and we'll go from there. Okay. Nice. Oh, it wasn't here. That was her getting the save. That's fine. We'll have some good pressure, I think, here in a second. Mm, never mind. There we go. Big cleanses. Wow. There we go. Nope. All right. Super cleansing. Honestly, it doesn't bother me. We'll use our power here in a bit. There we go. All right. 
a little awkward, but it works. There we go. Uh, big maybe. Nice, we'll take it. We're not being able to get face of darkness right now, but we are starting to get everything else rolling in, which means we have play thing that we're gonna be able to play with, which is really good, and we're gonna be able to mess with uh, face of darkness here soon. Whenever that survivor hopefully breaks. I think what I'm gonna do though is start using my actual uh, power here. Like we're gonna start grabbing it. Starting to be a little brutal here. Let them know it's not okay. Cool. Got it. Nice. That'll give us face the darkness up finally. Oh. That is a uh, plaything, by the way. I didn't hit. There we go. Cool. Face of Darkness is still up. So we're still fine. She needs to cleanse. Fang, once she cleanses, will remove Face of Darkness. But it can also be stopped thanks to Face of Darkness. It didn't get stopped, though. It feels bad. Okay. He's busy. And there goes my power. Since they fully cleansed. I get my power for free. I need to get over there and get the pentamento, but it's not a massive need right now. Let me go. Easy peasy. And now we can go around and get our pentamentos. Oh, yeah. Now we got pentamentos everywhere. Cool. Don't mind if I do. Let's get all the pentamentos set up. We're over here. Yeah, we're right there. They're injured, though. Cool. Gonna do that. This means they have to break the totems again. They did get real on my thrill, which is a little bit of a pain, but oh well, what are you gonna do? They haven't got the save yet. They'll be making their way here soon. Gives me time just to get all these fundamentals up. I learned the only time you cleanse is when one person goes for the save. Yeah, normally. There are other times, same like if you're uh, on death hook. Sometimes it's a really good time to cleanse to kind of buy yourself a little bit more. go. I don't have much interest of actually being over here. All my gens are kind of here. Missed it just by a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Thought maybe. Oh, she didn't hold forward. There we go. Much better. Face of darkness back up. Oh, my bad. That means the survivor is going to cleanse. There goes face of darkness. It took a moment, man, to get actual value out of it. But hey, what are you going to do? Sometimes you have a weird start like that where people are just constantly... Uh, Cleansing. It's not necessarily a bad thing, though. Like I said, we can definitely get some value off of this. They're going to go over here. We only have, what, one more play thing in up right now? There we go. Oh, that hit! Ah. Oh. Bummer, I tried throwing it up there. Oh, 
Oh, bummer. There we go. They finally got rid of their totem. She screamed like two or three times there trying to get rid of her totem. Gotta feel bad. Just to like, I don't know what's going on with the perma cleansing. It's actually kind of working in their favor to be honest with you. That's definitely an idea though. We still have a pentimento in play. So we're going to have to go find that again. Nope. And there we go. Look at that. She ran. Scratch marks are a little misleading there, but that's okay. I don't really want to play on this side. I'd much rather just leave and come over here. Uh, well, she's leading me back over here. Now I'm okay with it. Got her. Oh, you held forward all the way there. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you see the scratch marks? How they kind of blend in right here? She stopped here. There she is. I saw the feet. And there we go. Oh, you know. Rancid Abattoir. Cool. We got Throw of the Hunt up over there. Not a bad spawn. Like, the corner spawns are overall pretty decent. They need a better tutorial. Yeah, I feel like, you know, WLA is just one of those games you have to hop in and play. I don't know how much of a tutorial you can really get. Someone was over here, but they're at Shack now, so... I don't really want to sit here and play at Shack. They missed the skill check. We're fine. I don't, again, we're looking to kind of catch somebody. Got one over there. Oh, I'm just going to throw up on that. I know she's here, but there's someone over here too. There we go. Hey, there, buddy. Wow, I did not expect him to kind of hold forward there. We're just going to throw up on that then. There we go. We'll give him a reason. If he wants to stick it here, that's fine. There we go. Quick and quiet, though. Driver into the dying state. It works out. And we got two survivors who are about ready to break here in a second. There we go. Now we have face the darkness up. And we'll hopefully get some streams here in a moment. One play with your food. Okay, so they're probably both inside. That would make the most sense, at least. Ooh, that was an animation. Oh. Must have uh, deception that one. Fair enough. Here we are. Bummer. Everyone's screaming though, so that's pretty good. We get rid of a strong pallet here. No, we don't. We get her down even better. Okay, they didn't come for the save. Good. This is actually really good. That means we can grab this puke here and then kind of play off of that. Face of Darkness, no longer in play. Double play thing, though. Okay. We kind of got a lot better of an early game here, so... Nothing. All right. Let me break open this. I'm guessing he came back over here to his gen or to this totem. 
Uh. What? I thought it threw me off guard. Nope. Yeah, you can uh, you can try and stiptic it, but I can play around the stiptic. Crazy. That was a uh, very interesting lag. Advanced strategy mechanic. I don't think you can do that. I mean, you can try, but I think that'd be asking a lot. I see. We got him here. Cool. Oh, he does have that. Cool. Quick and quiet. He's a goober. Oh, nice. I thought he was going to greet it. He did not. He's off to grab this in a little bit. How's the game going? Pretty good. Get rid of the player named Ghost, and we can go down to basement. See if we maybe have a place here. Does Space and Darkness activate on infection caused injuries? Yes. It is injury caused by any means. We have one survivor over there. I think that's all of our playthings and totems up, right? Yes. Cool. I think I'm going to wait a little bit. Maybe let it get to one more. Uh, I don't know if I really want to wait a little bit. Cool. Nice. Ooh. She is laggy, though, so there is that. So she'll probably always be about a few steps ahead. Let's keep that in mind, though. That's about it. There we go. I got my thing right there. They went to basement. That's fine. The upside? Well, not really. We don't have a face of darkness up just yet. I hear them, so... I hear you coughing. Thank you. There it is. Nice. All right. I can't really get to the other side right now in order to make a play on Pentimento, but if we ever hook someone else over there, we can definitely make a play on it. Cool. I need them to get rid of one of the other totems, to be honest with you. Nice. Got her. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, super clean up. What gen? That gen over there. We're at one gen, really. Not bad. That's only because we couldn't get Pentimento set up effectively this game. But that's all right. We still get a player out of the game. Actually, we get two players out of the game. He's back here. Okay. Hi. There we go. Hi. Nice try, though. Was that the hiding all time? Well, at the end game, yeah. Trying to get to the one of the doors, but it's very hard to win. It, uh, it's very hard to beat Plague on doors because she can just infect one and always know when you go to it. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back. 